I'm about to ruin something for you in a bunch of movies. So fair warning, but it's something that I can't not share. One of my favorite things about really good movies is really great scores by awesome composers. People like John Williams, Hans Zimmer, Jerry Goldsmith. I think really powerful scores help elevate a film to an all-time classic. I mean, you can't tell me that the Indiana Jones theme by John Williams or Alan Silvestri's Back to the Future music aren't integral to the impact those films had on pop culture. There's one composer who is a little bit lesser known who nonetheless has also made a massive impact on a lot of films. And his work is the stuff I'm about to ruin. This guy's the composer for Avatar. Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, for Willow, for Aliens, The Perfect Storm, Troy, The Mask of Zorro. If you didn't know already, I'm talking about James Horner. I like James Horner's music. However, there is one thing that he does in almost all of the films he ever scored, and that's what some people like to call the James Horner danger theme. Now, if you're not aware, this is a thing that you definitely have heard of seen any of those movies, but now you will notice is in all of the movies where he has this kind of thing where he needs dissonance. And that is, he takes usually something like a trumpet or strings or something and does this -da 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 thing. Now, if you remember in Avatar when the tree's coming down and all the Navi people are upset, they're like, ah, but this is playing in the background from a trumpet. He uses that in like all of his movies. If you don't believe me, listen to this. So now you know, and anytime you watch a movie where you see him as the composer, you're going to be listening, and at some point, something, there'll be a dissonant moment, and in the background, you may hear, and you'll go, God, you're going to be so mad. <laughs> so try to still enjoy it, but that's just a fun little bit of movie trivia I had to uh, share with you, and uh, I'm sorry.